In November of 2015, a popular Malaysian singer named Joyce Chu released a music video called I Miss You on the YouTube channel Red People. The song is pretty average and there really isn't anything peculiar about the song itself. What's odd is what is depicted at around 1 minute and 40 seconds into the video. Did you see that? Watch again. In the background, it appears that someone has jumped off the balcony and killed himself. Since this was noticed, a lot of people have began to wonder if that suicide is real or not. This has been broken up into a few theories. One, that this was a real suicide that for some reason was left in the video. The second theory is that this was faked by the production team for some reason. And the final theory is that this is some other type of object that got in the way of the video. First things first, let's try to find out if there's any evidence of this being a real suicide. The first thing I did after watching this was email the production team to ask about this. I haven't gotten a reply yet, and I don't really expect to, but it was worth a shot. Now, if we want to figure out if this was an actual suicide, then there might be some type of documentation of it happening. The best way to find this would be to find out where and when the video was shot, and then search for any recorded suicides that happened at that place and time. Finding the area wasn't as easy as just looking it up, because, as you can see here, the music video was actually shot in over 100 different locations in different countries. To find the location, I just took this screenshot of the video and did a reverse image search. This brought up the Red House Theater in Taipei, Taiwan, which is where this part of the music video was recorded. Next was to find the time that the video was recorded, which was a little bit trickier, and even now, it's only based off an estimation. I had to do a little bit of research on the production process of music videos, but what I found from several sources was that the planning process normally takes about a week, and the actual shooting of the music video only takes about two days. Then all the post-production takes place for about two weeks afterward. So in total, about three to four weeks, which I'll round to a month. We also have to take into consideration that this music video was shot in over 100 different locations, so the actual shooting part may have taken a little bit longer than usual. Because of this, I decided to assume the shooting of the video took place sometime in September or October of 2015. Keep in mind, this is only an estimation. If anyone knows when the video was actually shot, please tell me because I could not find an exact date. Anyway. I tried to do a relatively extensive search for any suicides that occurred in Taipei, Taiwan in September or October of 2015 because of someone jumping off a building, and I couldn't find any. So if this was a real suicide, then there is no easily accessible record of it happening. This whole thing also brings up the question as to why their producers would leave that in the video if it were real. You could argue that they might not have noticed it, but you'd assume that the editors would be looking very closely at all the clips and therefore would notice something like this and edit it out. This leads some people to believe this was either intentional or something very innocent. Now to the second theory, which is that this was faked by the production team. Let's take a closer look at the actual alleged suicide. It becomes apparent that this falling figure is starting on the ledge, and then they appear to fall. The movement of the fall is very stiff, however. There are really no body movements at all. It looks almost as if it were a prop or something. But regardless of whatever fell here, there's something that doesn't make any sense. In the music video, the distance between the balcony and the sign look pretty close together, but in reality, they're actually very far away. Look at this picture that has been circulating around. Look at how far apart the sign and the balcony are. Now look at the alleged suicide again. See why this doesn't make any sense? If someone actually fell from this balcony, it would be impossible for them to fall in front of the sign because it's too far away. They should have fallen behind the sign. The only way I can think of that something like this could have actually happened is if this falling figure was actually edited into the video by the editors, and they just didn't take into account how far the sign was. That leaves the question as to why the editors would do this in the first place. It doesn't really make that much sense. Some people have speculated they did this in order to bring more attention to the music video. If it was done for publicity, then I guess it kind of makes sense because it did work. The video has over 22 million views, which is the most viewed on the Red People channel. There's also a lot of people talking about this. I'm not saying this was the reason it was done, but it is possible. The final theory is the one that I've pretty much ruled out. Some people think this is a garbage can that fell, or a bird, or something of that sort. If we really zoom in close to this, we can see the shape is human-like, and the way it falls doesn't really resemble a bird or anything. 
And even if it did, I still would not explain how it fell in front of the sign instead of behind it. This is a pretty peculiar event that happened in a music video, and we can't really be 100% sure of what happened here until we get some really strong proof, such as a statement about this from the people involved in the production of the video. Until then, all we can really do is speculate. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.